Ringside or riot, feel the cool breeze, get tossed into a pile of thumbtacks, now that's what I call a perfect fall. Hey, let's talk about wrestling. Well, let's eat up and pour yourself a cold drink. We're gonna talk about the things that fire you up. Because, because it is wrestling, everyone is coming down, not wearing a frown. Talk about it, we gonna talk about it. Talk about the things that really fire you up. Don't feed me anymore. I am full. Not only am I full, I wasn't really that hungry to begin with. With authority figures a hot button topic in so many other sports, let's take a look at the two that top the sport you and I love. This one prances around and gets a little crazy once in a while, but mostly keeps you napping. This one is like that old badass uncle that stands out front of the bar that you go to your friends with and makes sure nobody gets in unless they absolutely know you. It's pretty simple to tell which is the old pro and which is the replacement. So CM Punk finally grew back a big pair of furry cojones and stood up. He's right, you know. What he said to Mick Foley, everything he said about John Cena, he's absolutely right. He shouldn't have to stick his neck out anymore. What he's already proven should bring him to new heights. Not to the same tired playground where shirts change colors once every other month and elbow surgeries bring about really, really weird droopy biceps. Speaking of Mick Foley, how awesome was it to see him on Raw? The man was fierce, argumentative, and making great points. Full of attitude. I think you found your new GM of both shows. Or should I speak in your language and say, let's get hashtag Commissioner Foley trending worldwide. Foley, 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 Foley. There's no stupid tag team name needed here. Just showmanship, ability, and power. Speaks for itself. I guess Impact Wrestling can teach a lesson or two. Wow, that is how you bring it, and that is how you keep people watching your sport instead of the other sport. I don't generally like to break kayfabe. That's not what Ringside or Riot is about. But I can't help myself after the Kane and Daniel Bryan segments this week. It's massively disheartening when something can legitimately make you laugh and then leave you shaking your head only seconds later. Poopy, barf, booger, and duty jokes have their place in our world being told by six-year-olds to each other. They're funny in that regard when you're six and can even make an adult chuckle from time to time, but they've ruined a lot of actually funny segments in the WWE. It's real easy. Treat your audience's sense of humor, no matter the age, with respect. Then you'll satisfy everyone from top to bottom. That's what I do with my audience, and I've never heard any complaints. And I don't even have two teams of 15 people trying to come up with stuff. Oh, that wasn't free advice, by the way. Have the accounting department send my check to the RSC P.O. Box, and I'll be here at any time when the writing team can't handle it. Ringside Ride is brought to you by the Mattel WWE Legends exclusive Andre the Giant action figure. Hello, pretty lady. I come hungry for you. Hungry for big honey taste. Hogan! Fan figure frenzy! Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm the fan figure frenzy, and I just want to say, hey, Tom, I'm, I'm your biggest fan, and I really, really appreciate the work you do with the fan figure frenzy and the ringside of Riot. It's a good show. I really, I like it. I watch it every single week. It's a good show. Keep it up, man. Uh, it's far my favorite figure for the fan figure frenzy. I, I don't know. Look, I got, this is a fan figure frenzy right here. I'm a fan. This is the figures. It's a frenzy. I don't know. But anyway, th ringside of Riot, I got, I got three words for it. Well, I guess ringside of Riot would be the three word, but I got other three words for it. It's I love Tom because I love Tom from ringside of Riot, fan figure frenzy, ringside of Riot. Love you, Tom. Fan figure frenzy. Team Hell No are sharing a meal together at an eating establishment. After sadistic tag team discussions, an enlivened Kane and Daniel Bryan begin to belt catchphrases. Oh! 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 Yes! 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 Immediately following this exertion, a smiling Mae Young requests to enjoy the same meal that stimulated the two men. With mirth and laughter, let old wrinkles come. Ha ha!
going on everybody? Got the Dave Johnson the 12 with the T8 because it's more appropriate. This is AJ. Say hello AJ. Hello everybody. <laughs> Good girl. I'm here this week interrupting your regularly scheduled programming and your host who can be more accurately described as being the offspring of CM Punk and I don't know Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> I'm here this week to register a bit of a complaint. Excuse me a moment, AJ. This ain't got nothing to do with you, baby. You see, quite recently, we had a Night of Champions pay-per-view happen. In that Diva title match, we had Eve Torres against Layla. Now, it's just me, but if we were to read that on a card, would you be bored out of your mind? Did no one remember Luna? Why all these female wrestlers got to be using real names? That don't inspire no fear. Luna was called Luna. And then it's short for lunatic. With varicose veins coming out of her forehead. It's ridiculous. Now we got Eve Torres. Layla. That sound like I meet them at a sorority house. And I understand sometimes male wrestlers use real names. We all know those aren't their real, real names. Daniel Bryan isn't really Daniel Bryan. It's five and sprinkle. Everybody knows that. Everybody. Ugh. No. Wait, AJ, come here. We're going for a walk. I'm sick of this. Come here, AJ. Yeah, let's get out of here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for future episodes. Follow our Twitter account. Like our Facebook page. And check out Ringside Collectibles at WrestlingFigures.com for the largest selection of wrestling figures anywhere in the universe.